Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm hoping by now we were at 500 subscribers, so I think you should, this will come out a bit later. Uh, I'm not in Uganda today. I've come from the UK, but I'm actually in Rwanda and I'm doing a, a project with Think Aqua. We're looking at uh, how to help pond farmers, so sort of in my remit. Um, but I think it's quite interesting for you to see some of the differences that we have here in Rwanda. So you're going to see some of that over the next few videos, so enjoy. So as you know, I'm here in uh, Rwanda working with some fish farmers. Um, but what's really funny is the organisation at Ennebel that's um, sponsoring this project, uh, we're actually going to Rubarizi, which is exactly it's in Rwanda, but that's exactly where I used to live uh, in Uganda. So it's very amusing to me anyway, because it's a tiny little place and what are the odds? Well, I don't think you've seen this before, but I've heard of these systems, seen them actually. Um, basically you put rabbits above the ponds like this and then you feed the rabbits you can sell them etc etc but these provide a good source of extra income but they also their manure and but well, the manure basically or droppings falls into the water and helps to fertilize the ponds for the fish um, so it's a neat system for farmers because they get the best of uh, both worlds because you don't want to you want to fertilize your ponds because that's free food for your fish and um, you also get the benefit of extra income in terms of selling rabbits for meat uh, so yeah it's quite a nice system five ponds here we're actually really close to Kigali city uh, it's not far at all um, you can see here they're sort of tidying up at the moment they don't have um, much fish uh, we're working on this project so they're going to restart helping with training. You see like the inlets in here, they've just been cleaning the the, the banks. Yeah, nice nice to see the rabbits. They sell a lot, quite a bit of rabbits they were saying here. Um, and then the fish has sort of lagged a wee bit behind um, and been a bit sporadic for various reasons but um, quite a nice farm. It's like some mixed crops and sugar cane that's been around for a number of years. Um, interesting ponds, you don't normally see them so skinny. Very thin, um, but quite long, so you get some good production in there, and it's good for harvesting. This is the bigger pond here, you can see. So yeah, nice, nice site, and it's really good to be back on, um, back on the, on, on the site. So enjoying that. And just on the, the rabbits part, what I should say is, you know, this sort of in, this called it, is an integrated farming system. You've got, you're not just farming one crop. Um, well, it's, it's more actually that they're integrated, so they're working together, right? So you've got the rabbits and the fish working together in this case. Um, there's other examples, sometimes people put chickens and things uh, in the coops. Um, they, it, they're good systems, uh, I've got nothing against them. Um, I think there are some challenges, of course, with Yes, you get the benefits, but there's also a bit of downside. You need to have a bit more expertise because you're not just looking after rabbits; you're looking after fish as well, um, and vice versa. You've got to have different, you know, you've got different markets to sell things like that. Um, you've got to train your staff. You've got more costs potentially for you know bits of equipment. You've got to build the huts for the rabbits as well as the ponds. You know, all those types of things. So there's a reason why people don't just do uh, everything because uh, it's a bit more complicated but I mean I think integrated systems are great uh, they have their place and in a sense they're trying to replicate what nature is doing it's, you know nature is a food web it's a system everything's working together well all working against each other really people are eat, uh, things are eating each other so very good for that and I'll just zoom in you can see the city um, of Kigali so yeah it's very very close and this is a former wetland there's some beautiful you know me, I love my wildlife, beautiful uh, wild marsh over here, this is a former marsh um, and uh, it's, they're fairly strict in Rwanda about what you can do, oh this is a former bird nest, that's very, that's very pretty, they're very strict about what you can do um, and so you know you need a water permit um, to, to manage the farm, you need, uh, you can't just have cattle, although I can see some cattle here, look some hoof prints, so practice and all that but maybe those are just coming for a drink down here um, there's some more sort of land there which doesn't look like it's being used currently um, maybe some casual grazing so so yeah so uh, there's some definite 
uh, differences I'm noticing between Rwanda and um, Uganda, um, which is you know fun to see. I quite enjoy seeing the differences, um, and then also some similarities. And I'm not sure what that bird is. Um, I did. <laughs> I do like birding. I did bring my bird book because I'm always hoping to see new birds and see what I've got with, but I've left them in the car, so... Oh no, we've got a... Uh, predator here. So, um, that is a, a, some sort of heron. I should look that up. Uh, but yeah, so, you've got some, you know, you can tell that the dikes are a bit older. We've got some erosion happening. Um, they were cutting the grass on the sides as we arrived, so there's definitely some things that they need to be, I'm sure they will be working on. Uh, to, you need to drain the ponds, they've been drained for a wee while, so you know, get a lot of mud happening at the bottom. They're probably not that deep anymore, or as deep as they were. Um, yeah, overall, uh, great to be back on farms. I really enjoy it, I always miss it when I'm in the UK. So that, there you go, those are some of the things, some of the differences between uh, that site um, and, and Uganda. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I'm actually on another fish farm right now, some cages in the water behind me, but you aren't going to see this one unfortunately, because quite, quite rightly the owners weren't, um, didn't want me to take any video, which is totally understandable, not everybody does. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it, see you in the next video, and there's a few more to come from Rwanda.